I'm Jane Lunnan with the Ashe County Arts Council and another update on the arts in Ashe. This is a busy, busy week for the arts in Ashe County. Now I'm talking about Tuesday, uh, September 16th through Saturday the 20th. Let me give you a smattering of the things that there are to do in downtown West Jefferson. Of course, we're kicking things off with the annual literary festival. It's called On the Same Page. We've got a dozen authors, we've got more than two dozen events, multiple locations spread all throughout West Jefferson. It's co-sponsored by the Ash County Arts Council and the Public Library. And um, you'll, you'll definitely want to check out the multitude of authors, author readings, writer workshops, dining events, and so much more with On the Same Page Literary Festival. Going on at the same time on Friday and Saturday is a really special event, and here to share information about that event is Tammy Hutchinson. Tammy, welcome Hi. to the show. It's good to We're be here. We're talking about the annual Quilt Guild Fair from the Ash County Peacemakers Quilt Guild. That's did right. Did I put all of that together right? I think you did. Great. It's, well, it's a big, long name, but kick it's it a off great, great group. And tell us about the 12th annual Quilt Fair. Okay, the 12th annual Quilt Fair begins on Friday and it's held in West Jefferson at Jefferson Station and it's going to stay open Friday from 10 o'clock until 6 p.m. and it'll be open again on Saturday from 10 o'clock until 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Jefferson Station is easy to find in downtown West Jefferson. As you're coming in into downtown, it's the old Thomasville Furniture Factory that's been beautifully renovated and is, is turned into a multiple of, of shops and condos. And the Quilt Guild just sort of takes over the entire downstairs. It's a wonderful place for you to spread out and Tell we're, folks. we're really fortunate that we have Jefferson Station because it's so spacious and they allow us to come in early and set up, which really means that we can show off these quilts to their best advantage. And in terms of showing off the quilts, now you've got multiple events throughout those two days. We do. So you've got lots and lots and lots of quilts on display, That's right? That's right. This year we're going to have over 185 quilts, and I'm very excited about that because it's just so much fun to see them all. Now, are all of those entered into a competition? They don't have to be entered into the competition. When they you sign up to enter your quilt, and anybody can enter a quilt, this isn't just Ash County Peacemakers Quilt. Quilt Guild quilts. These are quilts from all around the community and the state, and we're happy to have them. And anybody can enter, and online on our website on at ashquilters.org, you can find out the different categories of quilts that will be there. There are 20 categories of quilts this year. So there are lots of places for you to have something new that you've created or perhaps a family quilt or a family piece that yes. you'd like on display or like judged for competition. That's right. They can be judged. And one of the other features of our quilt fair is appraisals. And those are done by a certified appraiser. And you can make an appointment to have an appraisal done with Mary Rogers. And her phone number is, let me see here, 336-877-5, can you read that for me? <laughs> yeah, 5399. And as uh, Tammy mentioned, all of the information about the, the two-day quilt fair is on their website at ashquilters.org. Org. Org. Right. right. And it's very important to have an appraisal done if you have a quilt in your family that's an heirloom for insurance purposes. So if you call or drop by with your quilt to get an appraisal, that would be wonderful for your family and for your own knowledge. And obviously having an appointment will make it easier for folks to, to better judge their time. Now, there will be plenty to do and see. I assume you've got that wonderful Vendor's Village uh, we do. coming back in we again. We do. You don't have to leave town to buy crafting supplies or fabric and just to speak to the vendors. They are um, have a wealth of information because most of them are quilters very, themselves. Very knowledgeable, colorful, colorful area. Um, I'll mention that the Ash County Arts Council will have a, a display as a part of the, the Vendor's Village. And we'll be spotlighting some of the information about our barn quilt tours. You know, it's just another way that quilting and the heritage aspect of, of what this means to, to all of us ties together. That gives me a chance to talk about our quilt that we um, put together this year as a guild. 
it's a barn quilt and it's made out of fabric instead of wood or metal and it's a queen size quilt and two pillow shams and you might have seen that, I bet you have, oh, at the have. gallery crawl, that it's just a gorgeous quilt. Folks, this is one of the most beautiful works of art I've seen in a long, long time. This is an annual fundraiser quilt. That's right. And, and folks will have the opportunity to, to buy tickets, to have the opportunity to take that gorgeous, gorgeous barn quilt home. I think your final drawing uh, won't will be... Won't be until December. So well, it would be make a, a nice Christmas present it would for be somebody. A great holiday present for anybody. Yeah. Um, I would love to have that quilt. I have bought a few tickets. A few my tickets. <laughs> um, you know, while we're talking about um, uh, partnerships and collaborations with the Quilt Fair, let's also mention that tie-in to the Literary Festival. The last couple of years, we've been pleased to, to partner with the Quilt Guild in bringing in an author that writes about quilts and has published books about quilting. And this year, wow, we've got Georgia Bone Steel coming. We have our own rock star of quilting oh, coming this goodness. year. I can remember watching Georgia on, on public TV for mm -hmm. years with her, her fine, fine quilt shows. Um, she's going to be doing two sessions this year, right? That's right. One on Friday and one on Saturday. And she's going to speak about what she's learned about quilting over her many years of quilting. And she's also going to bring her own fabulous quilts with her and do a trunk show. So that, that would be very, very wonderful. That'll be a treat. Part of. Her presentations are on Friday afternoon at 2.30 and Saturday morning at 10.15. It's called Live and Learn and with Georgia Bone Steel. And you don't need to sign up. Just be there and you can come back again on Saturday. If you want to hear oh, it again. Yeah. You know, I think what it's about a, lunch with the author? Yeah, and, and I do think it's important to note that the, the quilt fair is free. It is. Um, donations are happily taken to support the work that, that this fine group of quilters do in the community in making um, quilts and throws and, and lap throws to, to make available to many of the organizations in Ashe County that provide services for folks. So donations are always welcome. But That's you're true. right, Lunch with an Author is another companion piece to the Literary Festival. And we still have a couple of spots for available Friday. for right. Friday at noon to be able to have lunch with Georgia Bone Steel, to be able to pick her brain about her experiences and her background. We have uh, seven other authors that are a part of the Literary Festival that will also be having those dining opportunities. These will be in restaurants throughout West Jefferson and Jefferson, and you do need to sign up in advance for that because, as I mentioned, it is a limited, limited table. So they um, would call the Arts Council? Right. Uh, <coughs> information. Um, about the Literary Festival um, and, and about the Quilt Fair. It's all on multiple websites. Um, I'll give you that as we close out. Okay. What other parting shots do we need to have to let folks know about what they'll experience at the one, Quilt Fair? One of the other um, features or one of the missions of our guild is to educate the public about the history of quilting and the techniques of quil quilters use. And so one of the features of the quilt fair this weekend will be a bed turning. That's where we bring in an, a real bed and we stack up a pile of quilts, one on top of the other, just like in The Princess and the Pea. And one by one, the quilts are turned down and shown off and discussed. Oh, neat. And you learn the technique and the history. And this year we're focusing on applique quilts quilts where one piece of fabric is cut out and layered on another piece of fabric to help create the design, such as this is, one. I was just going to say, is this mm -hmm. an example this of that? This is an and example. Tammy, this is one of your beautiful quilts. This is. <coughs> only my second quilt ever. Oh my goodness. Uh, it was a and lot of fun to make. Tammy was sharing with me that this was based on a trip that she and her family took to Africa a number of years ago. And to be able to have a memory of that time together with a trip, with family together, and to have it immortalized in a quilt, in a wonderful, beautiful piece of artwork. What a treasure for well, you and your family to I, have. I was happy to think about the, the trip, especially the whole time I was working on this because it was fabulous. But um, the applique technique is one that's used in many different, different designs and in, to different effect. Um, in the art world, I'm sure you can right. appreciate the different, how one technique might be used in lots of different applications. Well, the, the, the layering and the textures that you see in the quilts, you know, it's probably important for folks to notice um, when they're walking through the quilt fair, 
that these are fabrics, they are fibers, and they do absorb oils, and, and that we respectfully ask people not to touch. That's right. Uh, and to, as I tell children when they're coming into the gallery, you know, touch with your eyes, not with your hands. <laughs> the Quilt Fair, um, let's see. This coming Friday and Saturday, that's September 19th and 20th, downtown West Jefferson at Jefferson Station, uh, 10 until 6 on Friday, 10 until 4 on Saturday, full, full days. We will also have um, an auction for a silent auction for small quilts, and so you can participate oh, in that. And viewers can vote for their favorite. These quilts are all... Those that are entered for judging will be judged by a certified judge, but viewers that come on Friday can vote for their favorite quilts. So we've got a People's Choice That's Award. That's a People's Choice, Viewer's Choice Award. Oh, Tammy, I can't wait for Friday and Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. To see all of this great work. Check out specific information about the Peacemakers Quilt Guild Quilt Fair at your website, www.ashquilters.org. If you need information about the quilt fair, about the On the Same Page Literary Festival, give us a call at the Ash Art Center. That number is 336-846-2787. Better yet, this week, this weekend, just come on over to West Jefferson. We've got lots and lots going on. And I should also mention, it's the annual Antiques Fair in downtown That's West right. Jefferson, too. Antiques, quilts, books, doesn't get much better than that. I think they all go together pretty well. I do too. The Arts in Ash County, we look forward to seeing you in West Jefferson.